Welcome to Basically Physio. Today, we will be talking about the recovery of walking after a stroke and the factors that can predict the recovery process. After a stroke, what usually will happen is that there will be muscle weakness in the body. This can range from upper limb, lower limb or the trunk muscles. For the prediction of recovery for walking, these are the three things that we need to look out for after a stroke. The severity of the stroke, which is indicated by the NIHSS score or the ICH score. The sitting balance and or standing balance, which can reflect the trunk muscle control and the lower limb muscle strength. For the severity of the stroke, this main information is via the NIHSS score. This score can be taken from the stroke documentation done by the medical team. The higher the score, the lower the chances of recovery. A general rule of thumb is if the score is in the double digits, the chances of full recovery of walking is lower. For the trunk muscle control, this information can be inferred by the ability to perform the following movements independently. Getting out of the bed, sitting upright, standing upright. If all of the movements can be done independently, the chances of recovery is high. For the lower limb strength, the initial muscle strength that has been preserved after the stroke can indicate the chances of recovery. On comparison to the unaffected leg, if the muscle power is at least 50% over the hip, knee and ankle, the recovery of walking is said to be good. Two more important factors to consider will be the age and the cognition. For age, the lower it is, the greater the chances of recovery simply because the brain and body has greater reserves to grow and adapt as compared to an older individual. For the cognition, after a stroke, cognition can be affected as well and this would affect the learning ability, insight, participation of the individual in the rehab after the stroke. So, the better the cognition, the better the recovery usually.